in the weeklies. I know you guys are probably like, what is happening? That is such a fail. And I want to say it kind of is a fail. I actually am on my lady time. I know a lot of people hate when I mention this, but I mean, I'm female, so it's bound to happen. And I notice when that happens, I crave the worst foods ever. And I usually give into those cravings. I do want to say that I'm very proud that I actually logged everything. My goal for today is to save within my points. I don't want to eat over at all. And I am doing a what I ate today video for this video. So you guys are going to be able to see what I ate today. I'm also going to put the points so you guys can see if I'm actually successful in that. I really hope that I am. Something I did notice is that I need to eat more often. I usually only eat one to two meals, like normal meals a day. And I feel like that's just not working for me anymore. I kind of want to start eating like five meals a day, like not meals per se, but like five times a day, whether they be snacks or meals and not really have a rhyme or reason for any meal. Like I don't really care about eating breakfast at breakfast. I don't really care about eating a snack for breakfast. I just eat when I want it. If I want breakfast at night, I'll have it then. If I want dinner in the morning, I'll have it then. I'll have it then. And I know a lot of people question why I do that. I think it's mainly just because I want to eat when I want to eat and what I want to eat. <laughs> I've been getting a lot hungrier by only eating once or twice a day with like random little snacks. It's just, and I feel like I'm also not choosing the right type of foods. I don't deprive myself, but I'm just not, I just need to tweak it a little bit more so I feel more satisfied. So I do want to put my daily weigh in right here. So 500.2 means from yesterday I'm down 0.4 and in total I am down 72.4 pounds, which is freaking awesome. Okay, so this is off topic, but as you guys know, the weird symptoms I've been having, if you guys don't know about any of that, I'm just, this whole side of my body is kind of in pain and my eyes twitching really bad, which literally is happening as we speak. Um the it's just a lot a lot of things are happening and i don't really want to go over it because it gives me anxiety but i do have another doctor's appointment tomorrow i did talk to one doctor a hot minute ago and i said i need a second opinion so i forget how many points it's logged in i'll let you guys know at the end we're going to be using some less sodium soy sauce this is zero points sliced water chestnuts and i think this is two points Again, I'll let you know. This is whole baby corn. So I'm not going to use any rice or anything this go round. So I'm going to cook all this and then show you guys the completed product. Just have this cooking. Oh yeah, and these are ch chicken tenderloins, which on Weight Watchers actually is points. It's the chicken breast that is not points. So here it is. I will say I did not need five tablespoons of the sauce. I'm not really a saucy gal. <laughs> I prefer less sauce on things. So next time I might just do three. I did try a water chestnut. It is good. It's just very saucy. This whole pot is 18 points. I will be eating the whole thing throughout the day. So I'll show you guys when I eat it, how much I eat and everything like that. So all right so this will be the first bit that i'm gonna have this is my first meal and it's 203 p.m i didn't wake up till noon which i am mad about but better than 5 p.m okay so my first round I'm gonna eat another bite if I only have the one bite set y'all up with the dishes all right super flavorful I 
It's actually really good. So it is 4.30 p.m. I am just watching some YouTube and I'm going to have a vanilla ice cream sandwich. This is seven points. So I forgot to tell you guys in the intro that it is April 29th. So it is seven o'clock and I'm having my next meal, the leftovers from earlier, and some brown rice, which is 14 points. So I've had 39 points today and I have 32 left. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Sorry for the angle. <laughs> you guys, I just want to tell you, please try my stir fry recipe. I wish you guys could like eat it with me. It's amazing, hands down. I decided to add brown rice because I didn't have as much left over and I wanted more carbs. Mm. Honestly, take back what I said earlier about too much sauce. It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm just not used to it, so at first it took me aback. Mm. And this is how it looks. It took like 15 minutes. The whole packet of ramen is 13 points. And then for the one sausage is only three, which honestly surprised me. So I'm excited to see how this tastes. Y'all, my hair is outrageous today. So I want to do a taste test because I've never actually tried this combination before. Smells really good. So we're gonna do a broth moment first, which is like my favorite part, let's be real. Oh man, I did that. I did that. You guys, I know how to make some creative ramens and I think it's because sometimes it's okay like that, but I like broth, so. Y'all, this is no joke. No joke. I wish I had a hard boiled egg. This is so good. This is worth the points for sure. super hot I need to get me a drink like temperature hot but for some people it will be spice hot but I love spicy so I've noticed that wow first of all I am breaking out a lot that's embarrassing okay so I noticed that today I ate a lot of meat I ate a lot of meat all that chicken now I'm eating one of these. You know, some days I don't have any meat at all. And then other days like today, I eat meat like it's going out of style. I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. It makes me feel kind of, I don't know. Meat, like lean meats in portions are fine, like small quantities. But then when I eat like a lot of meat like I did today, it kind of makes me feel like subconsciously kind of, it doesn't make me feel like physically bad, like I don't feel sick or anything, but 
I don't know, subconsciously it doesn't make me feel very good. It's weird. So I'm gonna take one more bite for you guys. Mm. I'm shook. For me, everyone's different. So this is my first meal. It is a sandwich, well, two sandwiches. So what we have here is four pieces of bread. They're 45 calories each. We have six bacons, which um, are 60 calories per two. And then we have rotisserie chicken and a little bit of light mayonnaise. So obviously when you're counting calories, you need to measure everything, scan everything. I use my fitness pal. So that works and makes things a lot easier. So you guys can look right here. Everything is 610 calories. Two tablespoons of mayo was 70. The bread was 180. The bacon was 180. And the chicken was 180. So, oh my god, I'm so freaking hungry. You guys have no idea. So, mm -mm. and I know a lot of people are like, you eat so unhealthy. I'd rather be eating like this than how I was before I started counting calories, so. Mm. Mm hmm Oh. And if I didn't tell you, I obviously warmed up the um, chicken and I toasted the bread. It's so good. For a lot of people, this will be too dry. So, I love dry. <laughs> so, my recommendation is to put tomato on it. I don't like raw tomato. I feel like the raw tomato will actually make it a little bit more like juicy and not as dry. Mmm, it's so good. I got some crumbs on my shirt. So, I'm gonna enjoy this meal. Since this was 610 calories, that leaves me with 1,390. So I will be back with you guys later. Hey guys, so it's been, I think about four hours since I checked in with you guys. And we are here for my next meal. I'm having, I'm looking at my MyFitnessPal. India's Nature's Organics. It's like Indian food. It's seasoned chickpeas. It's a cup for 240 calories. And then I'm having two. So we're going to give them to him tomorrow. And if you're wondering what this is, this is Becky's freaking fruit juices that spilt all over me. <laughs> it's okay, babe. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys what I was having next. So I only had two meals today. They were both pretty hefty. Oh my god, it does fit. That scared me though. You know, that bag kind of reminds me of like a video game. Do you want to put a bunch of his presents in a, like, Ugh. bags together? Yeah, just put it all in one. I, won't be, I don't know if I'll be able to fit it all in one, but I can try. I forgot um, what I was even saying, because yeah. me and Becky just had like a full-fledged combo. Uh -huh. Um, okay, so, oh yeah, I only had two actual meals today because my calories were pretty high with both meals but i'm okay with that um so anyways i also like to have a really big snack at night i like to feel full so i'm staying under my calories don't you worry but i am having two puddings they're 100 calories each and then we're gonna do a little taste test with we are having some nuts so there's three type of nuts they all are one fourth a cup as a serving. So this is one fourth a cup. So you measure it out. Pretty simple. Okay, so I want to show you guys calories and then we're gonna do a little taste test and I'm gonna show you what kind of nuts I have. They're all like a different type of nut and they were all almost $8 per nut container. So they better be good. So um, the calories for this, my snack is 650. So there it is. So the first nut we're gonna be trying is vanilla and honey almond. Vanilla and honey almond. Mm. My sweet tooth is very happy right now. Okay. And then we have 
Prey almonds are 160 calories. The pecans are 150 and the cashews are 140. So yay, I'm ending the night with um 60 calories left that I'm not gonna be eating. So day three is successful. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed another day of eating. And you know what? <laughs> Twinkie! Baby, you can't have none of this. I'll give you a TRETS later, okay? None of this is doggy safe. Yes. I literally lick. <laughs> That's probably so gross to so many people. I do. I literally lick the um, top part, but. Oh, and by the way, in my last. What I ate in a day, I was like, this is only two bites. I was messing with y'all. Mm. Usually takes me about. I don't know. It depends. I usually just do about that much. I have a sweet tooth, you guys. So I'm trying to manage this calorie counting thing. And eventually, obviously, I'm going to start slowly eating even healthier. So then finally, when I'm sitting down to film my video, I'm just like, <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously... I don't breathe as accordingly as everyone else. Like I am bigger, like that's just a thing, okay? If you guys hear weird noises, there is fireworks going on out there, so. Let's start with the grocery haul first. I already have like a lot of meats here at home, tons of frozen vegetables, so I didn't really need that much. Um, I have eggs and things like that, just like necessities, but I needed more brown rice. So I got the minute brown rice, that's just what I always get because it's just, easier um i got the cauliflower veggie tots i love these because i love tater tots i love cauliflower so having both is fine with me in one <laughs> so becky's the one who saw this i was like oh my god we should give it a try it is already cooked chicken in garlic and herb only oh it's only it's only 90 calories per one piece, so, I mean, it looks pretty tasty. You guys can see that. I don't know, already pre-cooked pre chicken breasts like that usually doesn't taste that good to me, but we will give it a try. And then I got some of these. It's carefully went to the Cheesecake Factory every single day. Um, see, the thing is, I would only eat two meals a day when I was on vacation but the meals were very loaded in calories so obviously I gained weight I'm retaining a lot of water so it seems like every time I do a weigh-in I'm like hi new fucking starting weight so I'm currently having to come on here and tell you guys that I do have a new starting weight and this kind of like put me in a really weird perspective um I'm going to die if I don't stop. So I'm kind of just like done with these silly, oh, I'm gonna eat whatever I want, count calories, lifestyle. Oh, I'm gonna do this and do that. And oh, count calories and count points, lifestyle. It's all silly to me. Like sitting there telling you guys, oh, I'm gonna eat whatever I want as long as it's in my calories is ridiculous. Sorry, I'm super thirsty. I know a lot of people don't agree with diet soda, but I'm not going to justify it. I like it. Like, whatever. It's never made me gain weight before, I can tell you that. So, um, it's silly telling you guys, oh, I'm just going to count calories and eat whatever I want. Like, because when that happens, I go to Taco Bell, I go to McDonald's, I eat Ben and Jerry's, I eat whatever I want. I, I literally do exactly like I say eat whatever I want. And that's bad for my health, it's bad for my binge eating, because what this does is, like, I think it was like for three nights in a row, I ate six big cup Reese cups for 1200 calories. And I was justifying it because I was like, oh, it's totally fine, it fits in, it fits in my calories, oh, it's fine. But what that does is, it makes me binge. And then I just keep eating, keep eating, keep eating, I go over calories and before I went on my vacay, I was counting calories and every day I would lower my calories and not go over the day before, which I was definitely successful in that, but I was eating junk, I was eating fast food, 
I, I was eating bad things, but I was staying under a calorie a, a calorie limit that Lose It was trying to give me. Lose It is a, a calorie counting app, and it wanted me to eat 3,400 calories. So I was like, ooh, 3,400 calories, awesome. And I was just, I was eating a lot, and it was a lot of bad foods. But I was trying to justify it. Oh, it's okay, because this app told me I can. No. <laughs> So then when I went on vacation, I completely didn't count a single calorie, just ate whatever I wanted. It was like a free for all and I should have known that I was going to come home and gain weight. I, I did know that, but I didn't care at the time, which is freaking ridiculous. Um, I don't know what was different in Virginia versus now or versus a year ago, but there was just like this steady happiness in Virginia that I haven't really found um mentally this doesn't have to do with anyone around me or anyone that was around me in virginia it's all about my depression in virginia i was the least depressed ever like in my life and i feel like that's why it really helped me lose the 89 pounds so i'm trying to figure out what's going on with that and I just really want to focus on eating healthier foods, you know, protein, lean protein is my go-to. Lean protein, veggies, and a carb. Brown rice, sweet potato, um, cauliflower, tater tots, things like that. Well, cauliflower tots. <laughs> um, I want to focus what I was doing at the beginning of the year. Um, I went back and watched the videos because I lost 30 pounds in January. So I went back and I was trying to figure out what was I doing in January. So I went, I saw some of the foods I was eating and I wasn't counting calories then. I was just eating foods that nourish my body. That's just really important. There's no, I don't want to, I don't want to make a game out of my life anymore. I don't want to make a game out of this anymore. Um, to me, counting calories is a game and telling myself, Oh, just eat whatever you want. It's okay. You have enough. You have enough calories. It's just a game. It's all a game. It's all businesses trying to make money when in reality, you just need to help eat healthier and nourish your body and eat less. Um, I have contacted my doctor. I contacted my doctor today. What is hobby? What are you doing, baby? Jumped on the table. Um, I contacted my doctor today about my weight and I hope that she can help me because when I went to the doctor, she didn't mention it once. And so I mentioned it to her. I told her my weight. I told her I need her help um, in any way that she can because she is my doctor. So I'm hoping she'll reply to that soon. Um, I do email my doctor. That's nothing like weird or whatever. Like you can do it if you have a health portal. So, so that's my way in. And then I was like, oh, but Chinese sounds good. And now I just don't know. So I'm going to keep on scrolling. Um... Oh, babe, that place that we had the other day, they have it here. The Maggiano's Italian Classics. I thought you were liking it. I didn't, but they have it here. <laughs> you know you love me. Okay, so something we're never going to get. No, absolutely not. Ooh, Baskin Robbins. Hi, ma'am. Do you guys like Cracker Barrel? I'll tell you one thing. Their chairs are tiny. So, a girl with my type of butt, no. Or a guy with my type of butt. Or a non-binary, you know. We can't sit there. It's not comfy. It's not fun. And the food is not worth it at all. So. Ooh, a poke bowl. I don't know. Last time I had poke bowl, the crab had like a really weird taste to it. And I said, no. No, no. They tried to send me to rehab. I knew you were going to look at me like that, so I had to. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, I'm going to decide. Sushi. How do you feel about sushi? Sushi's a winner. Sushi's a winner? Oh, we decided! Okay, I'll show you when it gets here. Love you guys. Oh, wait, my way in. Okay, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that later. Okay, you guys. So, here is my meal. I got some edamame, which I'm so excited to eat. This is so good. It's like a garlic spicy seasoning that they put on top. And then here, this is a shrimp I've never had before. It's like sea bass and crab. Um, 
peppers and um I think some avocado and then here is just like my go-to which is just like a crab mixture which is so good and then we have soy sauce and of course my favorite ginger so I will have the calories after this because I have not logged them yet so yeah this is my first meal for the day so we love a taste test and I have never had this sea bass sushi I don't know what's happening here so I'm gonna dip it in my soy sauce and we're gonna do a taste test I'm actually kind of nervous because I get nervous trying new sushis. That's just me. Uh, avocado, and then the sea bass is on top, but I already took a bite of it. Delicious. Edamame though. Mm. This restaurant is the best restaurant for sushi. Anyway, I'm gonna go enjoy my food. Okay, so I am finished. Um, this is how much edamame I have left, how much edamame I did eat. I did finish this sushi roll, but I did not finish this one. This one was okay. I feel like I mainly ate it because like I was just like hungry, but the sushi that was here, that's like one of my favorites. So when it comes to the calories, um, it was 600. I do have my goal set to 2000, but that's not my actual goal. And yes, it is 5.30 p.m. As you can see the time right here, I got a very, very, very late start to eating. I just wasn't really hungry after like the weekend of eating pretty bad, if you ask me. So yeah. 600 calories and I feel pretty content and full. So look at this cute little uh Stop. <laughs> Baby, what if I drank out of this? Could you slurp it, you think? Wait, can we try it? Yeah. Is it just water? Yeah. No, I'm scared! I think we're too weird. Alright, you guys. Next round of events. We have a torrid moment. So this is a shirt, which is a size six. A lot of people ask, why do you say size six instead of like six X? It's because I always go based off of what it says right here. And Torrid does go off of sizes like that. Um, so it's just easier when I'm doing the Torrid haul. Why are we blurry? Okay. It's just easier for when I'm doing a Torrid haul in the world and still do this bit. like. It's just an insecure little tick that I do. So this is what it looks like up close. There's like a little lace moment down here. I don't know, I mean, it's plain Jane, it's whatever. So yeah, this is just like a low key tank top that I'd probably just wear like a black cardigan with, you know? I'm gonna give this like a four out of 10. I kinda, eh, doesn't do anything for me. Okay, you guys, it is time for my next meal. I have two cups of white rice, which came out to 400 calories. We have some bourbon chicken, came out to 200 calories, and I just have a little bit of light soy sauce. So this meal is 600 calories, and I am so pumped, so hungry. I actually just got off the phone with my mom and my aunt. <sighs> Uh, I know a lot of you ask, like, how's your mom doing? Phenomenal. She's doing amazing. Um, this year, actually, November 1st, will be seven years that she is clean and sober. <sighs> I never would have thunk it. All right. Now, celebratory bite for her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, bourbon chicken. Have you guys ever had it? It's amazing. And bad judgment, I had three slices of pepperoni pizza for $6.90 and three servings of baked cheddar and sour cream chips for $3.60. And my weight today was four ninety five point two. So after this weekend, there was definitely a gain. Hi, everybody. She knows I got ice cream. She's obsessed with ice cream. 
but this is the last thing I'm having. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> you can't have my- Loves a creamy moment. Okay, that sounded weird. <laughs> but you guys, no. I'm recommending this to you as the one without that. Do not get the one that says now creamier. The one that I prefer is 10 calories more and it tastes better. This does not taste as good. It's even like a lighter pink. Usually it's like more of a red. I'm very sad. Um, I've taken a couple bites. I like to like mix it and turn it into like this like creamy moment regardless. So that's what I'm in the middle of. But like, I don't want to steer you guys wrong. I never want to. So I'm letting you know. This one is not as good. Um, and if you want to play a little game, get one with this and then get one without it. Try it. Let me know which one you prefer because this ain't it, sis. This one tastes more like there's like fake sugars happening. Like there's like a protein taste. The other one doesn't have that. Like Halo Top, what are you doing? No, don't do this to me. Ugh, I'm devastated. I know it's like over something so freaking dumb, but damn. While we're here and we're sad about it, um, let me tell you how many steps I took, how many calories, and we are going to just end the night because I am done eating. It has been, yeah, um, I'm trying to find my fitness pal on my phone. Okay, calorie wise, oh honey, 2,610. Okay. That's not happening again tomorrow. No, it's not. As for steps, um, I didn't really try. <laughs> Oopsies. Um, that's also not happening again tomorrow. I need to get back to like really trying with my steps. I, it's just like Friday through Sunday, I become a different person. I forget about routine. I forget about walking and health and like eating less calories and stuff. Like I hate it. I need to like learn how to like get out of that um but for steps only did 2001 room to breathe and to edit and to upload and see if this really is going to work for me and pan out so operation curvy calories this is going to be a hundred episodes of weight loss and the reason why i am doing this is because i am too comfortable in the weight loss where I am now, it seems like I am stalling and I'm just balancing back and forth between the same like four pounds. And that is not where I wanna be. So I need to switch up, I need to reset, I need to rethink and I need to have new goals and just new scheduling around my life because I just feel like I am stuck in a rut. I really also want to use these videos to inspire others. I want to motivate others. It's okay to have bad days. It's great to have good days. And I just wanna be that advocate of the weight loss community to be honest with your audience and share your true journey. And I also really want this for documentation. I love going back to older videos and looking at the progress I made then, how big I was then, the differences in my body, the excuses I made then, but the victories I had then. It's very bittersweet having YouTube, especially for as long as I've had it. And I just really enjoy going back and seeing those things. So what you guys can expect from this is it's gonna be daily episodes. I am going to film daily. If I accidentally skip a day on uploading, I do apologize, but filming daily will happen. It's gonna be daily weigh-ins, daily vlogs, daily updates. There are gonna be weight loss topics and things I wanna talk about. You guys are gonna see my struggles, see my victories. You guys are gonna see me exercise, what I'm eating. There's some cooking videos, what I ate today videos. There are gonna be some eat with me moments and I understand that. But I'm gonna be doing Weight Watchers and I know a lot of you are probably like shook it to the core or you were expecting it. Just another new weight loss diet moment. But that's the difference in this. 
I don't want to consider this a diet. I want to consider it a, a lifestyle change. And that's what I love about Weight Watchers is because it teaches you how to be moderate and also choose healthier things while still being able to treat yourself. And I honestly love that about Weight Watchers. So there are three plans on Weight Watchers. There is green, blue, and purple. Green gives you the most points with barely any zero point foods. So for that, if I was to choose green, I would get 93 daily points. That is a lot. And the zero point foods I would get is fruit and non-starchy vegetables. Blue would give me 71 points and it would give me 200 plus zero point foods, which are fruits, veggies, eggs, chicken, and beans. And then purple would give me 50 points, which is the lowest of the points, but it would give me 300 plus zero point foods, which would include fruit, veggies, eggs, lean meats, beans, potatoes, grains, and whole wheat pasta. So all of these plans are very enticing, you know, but I chose blue. I chose the middle. Because I feel like green, I would have to weigh things more. I personally don't like weighing chicken. It's something weird. I I don't like weighing lean meats. I don't like weighing, you know, certain vegetables. I'm just really not into it. I will say purple was the most enticing because you can have potatoes for zero points. You can have whole wheat pasta for zero points and grains. I know for a fact that I would not lose as much weight as quickly by doing that because I love whole wheat pasta and I love potatoes. You know, given me that option, I could easily eat three potatoes and justify it and be like, what well, was zero points? Really? So I feel like purple would work for people who are more aware of their body and they don't there is a fly in here where did you come from like legit we never have flies in here back to what i was saying i feel like it allows you that extra points the reason why i have 71 points is because i actually put my highest weight into weight watchers and i know a lot of people are going to disagree with this which is completely and utterly fine, I am totally okay with that. But I wanted to start with a little bit more points, not many, than I would normally start by putting the current weight that I'm in now. I already can see the comments and see your guys' thoughts and I totally understand. But I wanted my first week for me to like ease into this. 